What's up everybody, welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith and in today's video we're going to be looking at the official UK Ambassador deck from Bicycle Playing Cards, which is an officially licensed deck from Bicycle and it was the first ever UK limited edition deck to have printed edition numbers which went from number 1 to 2500. This deck was specifically produced for the Blackpool Magic Convention 2024. Out of the 2500 that were printed, only 2000 of these were released for sale. If you missed my latest video, I talk about becoming an official UK ambassador for bicycle playing cards and I was sent this deck as part of a welcome bundle and I managed to get deck number 2385. So how much are these? As I said, I was gifted these and they were for sale exclusively at Blackpool this year. However, there's places like Magic Box who are still selling these decks and these are £13 each. So if you wanted to purchase a really rare deck that has limited numbers available and couldn't make Blackpool, then head over to Magic Box to grab one of these. Tell them I sent you to. Good old Graham. So let's talk about the tuck case. On the front, there's a large bicycle logo which has the branding and the slogan of Trusted Since 1885. Under there, there's a red sky and a blue silhouette of the London skyline along with the Union Jack flag too. On the sides of the tuck box, there's a USPCC branding on one side and on the other, it has air cushion finish and made in the USA branding. The top is hidden by the Union Jack numbered seal, but it says UK Ambassador and the bottom has the usual USPCC ad copy. The tuck flap also features the USPCC ad copy too. On the back it has the playing card back design but with a slight border around from the sides slash front red and blue design which makes the white card pop out from the back. It's a cardboard tuck case but it feels really nice in the hands. Let's talk about the back of these cards. At first glance you may think that these are just your standard blue rider back design but when you compare a standard blue playing card to these ones you can see that these are a much darker blue than the standard which looks really nice I think. It's the same standard border design as usual. There's nothing too different there in terms of looks other than the color change. With regards to extra cards, you get your two jokers still, which aren't identical. One is black and white and the other one has color to it, which you could potentially use for color changes. And the joker riding the bike has a rather fetching red top on to match the red of the tuck case, along with subtle blues to match it too, such as his trousers. You also get two blank cards included in the deck, which I think is fantastic as there's so many different things that you can do with blank cards for magic tricks and mentalism. So the two blank cards are very much welcomed. Before we look through the deck, I just want to jump in and let you know about the channel membership section of this channel. If you want to support the channel and get access to early videos, behind the scenes photos and videos and other rewards, including custom emojis to use on the channel, then please check out the description to see how to become a channel member. Would really love your support on the channel to help me do more videos like this. So let's get back to the video. As we look through the deck with the chord cards and the standard cards, you'll see some slight visual differences. There's the Ace of Spades with the Bicycle 808 card, which has the USPCC advert stuff on there as usual. But the blacks of the cards have more subtle dark blue on the pips and numbers, which replicates the tuck box design. And the reds have a slightly darker than usual red color to match the overall theme too. Then there's the court cards which have the same red and blue treatment as the rest of the deck and the jokers and the feature with red and blue accents and design which makes them stand out from the standard court cards. I think the jack of diamonds could do with a bit more blue on him as there seems to be a lot of red featured on him but I, I can get away with that and I think it's just personal preference. It just looks a bit weird I think from my own personal preference. Let's talk about handling of these cards. They are a classic air cushion finish and made in the USA at the Kentucky factory. As per usual with bicycle cards and USPCC, they're on bicycle stock so they handle really nice and they're really nice to handle, shuffle and ferro. Even right after opening the deck, you can do that straight away. Give them a quick rub down your leg to get rid of the roughness and you're good to go. As we begin to reach the deep end, as Colin and Samia likes to refer to, what's the overall thought of the deck? If you're after a special edition rare deck which you can add to your collection and love bicycle decks, then this is perfect for you. As it's limited to 2,500 decks, then if you can manage to grab one, it could potentially go up in value over the years, or if you just want to have a sort of UK themed deck, then this will be perfect. Limited numbers, modified carts, and also two blank cards for effects. This could be a new walk around deck for magicians in the UK, especially for corporate gigs. And if you want to give something a bit more impressive than the standard bicycle deck, especially the tug box, it's a bit more impressive and sort of commercialized. If you want to see what other bicycle cards I've come up through a review, check out my bicycle ambassador unboxing video, which will be linked up on the screen now and also found in the description. So until next time, see ya.